Okay, here we are, day three, January 5th, 2017. All right, so let me start out by thanking everybody for all the comments uh, over the last couple days. I really appreciate it, and thanks for all the questions. You know, when I start thinking about what I'm gonna make today's uh, video about, I, I just have to refer back to all the questions the last few days, and it's, and it's really helpful. But uh, especially I wanna point out uh, a comment from yesterday by Simon Marriott at uh, at uh, MOOF Games, because I talked yesterday about whether or not games are still worth it. And, you know, I'm not really a proper games developer, right? I started off doing, you know, database-driven websites uh, when I was a contractor, you know, a lot of, you know, form-based stuff. So when we do games now, it's a lot, it's, it's very simple, and we, we have, a, a, like, a goal in mind, like a learning language and stuff like that. So Simon came in as a, as a veteran to, to, to give a really good response to it. So if you haven't uh, seen it yesterday, go back to yesterday's video and read uh, Simon's uh, response, because it's, it's really, really good. All right, so I've, I've selected three questions from, uh, from yesterday uh, just to go through. Some of them are very simple, some of them are not so much. Uh, let's just start off with Tom H. Uh, he asked, uh, hey, uh, from someone starting out in app development, wanting to do it for a living, what is the one piece of advice you would give them? And that's, it's really difficult because there's, uh, there's so much that you have to learn and you kind of learn as you go. You jump, into the, you, know, you jump into the water and you learn how to swim. There's loads of little things. I would say, from a personal point of view, I think it would be just to get started. You know, put something out there because you can always do a second app. If your first one doesn't do very well, you know, uh, you know, you could you you could always reskin it later or do another version or, or something like that. And you're not going to learn anything until you actually start doing it. Uh, and it, and it's really difficult. It's difficult to get started uh, because uh, well, I know. Okay, so my first app, I may have talked about this before, is I you know I had this idea. And then I tried to do it all myself, and um, you know, and then months passed, and I just didn't really go anywhere with it. And it was kind of this thing that, yeah, one day I'm going to put out an app, right? But it wasn't until I actually, you know, I actually hired developers because I was too busy contracting to actually get something done. So then, then we got it done, and and the result was not great, right? It was the code was not great, but but we put it out there, and it was not easy because once you do that, you know, you're you're surrounded by people. Well unless you know a lot of app developers, you're surrounded by people who have not done it, right? They don't know what it's like to take something and put it out onto the app market. Now, and, and so you'll get a lot of advice from people who don't really know very much about what they're talking about. They'll say, you know, oh, you should do this, or the icon should change, or you should do that, you should do that. And really, in the beginning, the only person who's really gonna believe in it is you, right? And you're like probably the most critical of your own stuff. I mean, we're all critical of our own stuff. Right. If, if you walk, I painted my own kitchen, right? And if you walked into my kitchen, you would say it looks, it looks fine. But, you know, I know everywhere where I messed up. So that's one of the problems with putting something out there is because you could, you could be a perfectionist and say, I just want it to be perfect. And you never actually get there. So that, my biggest piece of advice is to actually, you know, release an app, right? Uh, I, I made a video about this once before a few years ago saying you, you're not an app developer until you've actually released. And that's, it's not so much, it's getting over that, that hump that you know I'm putting myself out there I'm an app developer but uh, you know and even if it doesn't do well you know it doesn't do well for a lot of people at first but that's you know that's uh, you know it doesn't do well you know a lot of again to take the musician thing I talked about yesterday you know somebody uh, who's gonna become a big music star or whatever they have to start out in the small clubs and they have to fail a lot and you have to to get through all that kind of stuff but so my big my big advice would probably be to get started and don't listen to everybody when they tell you it's not a, it's a bad idea or give you all the advice. I mean everybody has an app idea, right? This is I was in so I'm going off topic here, but I was in like the optician like a year ago, right? I went to go get my eyes checked and I'm sitting in the optician and he says, you know, what do you do? And I say, I'm an app developer. By the way, I don't tell people that anymore. I just say I'm a software developer. I says, I'm an app developer. And he said, oh, you and I should get together. I've got loads of ideas. And he started telling me his big app idea, right? And it's this kind of thing that happens all the time. And when you tell somebody you're an app developer, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has the get rich uh, idea and they'll, and they'll give it to you. So anyway, so that was, you know, Tom, you know, if you haven't put out one out yet, you know, do it. We're, we're, we're kind of all in the same boat. We've all been there. You know, we, you have to get something out there. You want to look for the easy solution, which is something that's been done over and over and over again, but that's not the best solution. You need to put something out there that you're interested in, right? Uh, the second question was from 
Jose Hernandez asked, uh, how can I find a niche, right? So this is, uh, it's not the easiest question to answer because uh, it depends on what you like, right? See, I'm interested in language learning, but I was also interested in spy stuff. So this is something that I, I kind of latched onto, but it's not something that's magical. I mean, I meet, you know, I've met so many app developers over the last few years that they, and they all, you know, if they didn't know their subject when they started, they know it really well now. I mean, I, 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 Tom Veach, who does, uh, you know, uh, guitar lessons and stuff, or, you know, uh, music lesson uh, apps, uh, Tom, I still have your card. Uh, you know, he, you know, he does. He focuses on one niche, so he knows all about music because he's he's got a love and passion for music. I, I met the guy who does the um, the London bus schedule apps, and uh, you know, Carl Partridge, and he, you know, he's, he was really interesting to talk to because you know he focuses on that one area. I'm sure we all wanted to go chasing flappy birds, but you know, you know, go for that niche and go for something that. If you're not familiar with it now, something that you would like to learn more about, you know, in the future. So, and something that's not well served. So do do app searches and stuff like that, and see, you know, you know where it goes. So anyway, it, uh, by the way, er everything I'm talking about here. Uh, if you disagree with me, or if you want to ask add any other uh, suggestions to these guys, just put it in the comments because you know we could all help each other out here. And lastly, Marwin asked about copyright rules on Google Play. Now, when, when clients ask me about copyright and legal issues, I'm really cagey, right? This is one of the, the things where I, I don't want to get caught out and be sued for something, some advice I give because I don't know better. I'm not a lawyer, right? I will give you my opinion on this, but I think you should check it out, right? I, you know, you check with your uh, attorney or whatever, which everybody says, but I know you're not going to do, right? You ask whether or not, if you're scraping the web to get data, is there any risk you'll get your app removed? And I think it pretty much depends on the data, right? I had a friend who back in the early, early 2000s, uh, he, was, he had a, a, a sports app, a website and uh, he, was, he had a service that was scraping sports scores from, from different sources, right? So that was kind of information that was not proprietary to one organization, right? So if, the, um, if a football team, or soccer as we call it in the States, uh, has, a, has a score from yesterday's game, then you know, that's kind of that information is everywhere. And if you were to scrape a website and get that, it does, it's not exactly proprietary information for them. But if you did something like scrape uh, Yelp, you know, for, for data or, or LinkedIn or something that has a source where they've accumulated that information and you're taking it without permission, then yes, definitely. And you don't want to take images or anything like that. So I would say if, if you're taking data that's, that's pretty common knowledge and, and freely usable, then I think that's fine. But of course, if you're going to be scraping websites, you also want to make sure that you're not yeah, you just want to make sure that you're not taking something, you're not taking some intellectual property away from somebody else. I mean, and, and copyright is such, I mean, it's such a big issue, especially with Google Play. You know, we've had, um, I always buy uh, images, you know, we, you know, we write our own content. You know, it's, um, it's, it's something that a lot of people, when they tell me they've been suspended by Google Play, most of the time it has to do with copyright issues. You know, somebody taking an image which, which they don't have. And this is one of the reasons why I hire a full-time designer. Sometimes I have two designers on the team because that's, you know, I can't do that. And that's one of the things that we need probably most of all. So uh, anyway, yeah, and I could be wrong about that. And if anybody thinks that's wrong, please put it in the comments because, you know, it's, you know, I, I would say, you know, if you're going to scrape a, a website, just make sure you're not taking anything that that belongs to them. You know, if they're, you know, if it's like weather information or or um, or sports scores or anything like that. But that kind of stuff these days, you could probably get from an API somewhere. So uh, so anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be doing my minute of overpass. Uh, so uh, I'll do a little bit more work into that one. And I'll, too, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.